All right, so now that we've taken a look at ScreenFlow, let's take a look at iMovie on the Mac real fast. So let me pull iMovie up here. I have this preloaded with the test that uh, we looked at previously. Um, and we've kind of looked at iMovie, but I wanted to go a little bit more in detail as far as you know editing with iMovie. Now, a couple of things that you'll notice with iMovie is it's not designed to be a screen recording application. So you're not going to have the callouts, you're not going to have the transitions that go along with the screen recording, but you still have transitions. You know, they have transitions built into to iMovie and you can still do text boxes and things like that, but like the blur out, the call outs, those can be done, but they're super difficult. So as far as as iMovie, I'm going to recommend that you not do that. I don't even do it in iMovie because it's, you know, it requires a lot of different moving parts and things like that. So, you know, if you're using iMovie, just kind of make it simple, make it super easy. Um, if you need to block something out, then I'll kind of show you how to use, uh, you know, a text box or a color box, things like that on how to blur things out. So as far as editing goes, whenever you first load up iMovie, you're not going to have anything up here. This is your project. And then this is your clip bin. Um, so this is where all of the different clips that you import will be. Maybe a mobile recording, maybe uh, you know your screen recording as well from QuickTime or whatever it may be. So you have two different options. You can either uh, select everything, you'll notice all the yellow, and drag it up here. Or you can actually select just what you want. So let's say I just wanted to bring it in right here. You'll notice as you move this dragger that that red marker will move. And as you move this, it will also play, so it will show you where it is on screen. So let's say that this right here is all I wanted. So I just click and drag this up here. And then I wanted to get the final bit back here where we say goodbye. And I pull that over. And so that's really as, as easy as it goes. If you select everything, you can also come up here and do split. Similar to most of the other applications, you'll notice here that it's a little bit more fluid than ScreenFlow, you know, Camtasia, applications like that. And what I mean by that is, is it doesn't have a typical timeline. You know, it doesn't have that timeline running along the bottom, you know, where you have video track and audio track. It kind of lumps everything together into this more fluid motion. So it's it's a little bit more difficult to edit this way, you know, if you're doing advanced editing. But for super easy stuff, it makes it easy and simple. So then you can just play it. You're good. You can also add transitions here, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. So you won't you won't see any audio, you won't see anything, but you'll watch. You can see that red marker move around this move around the video, and the audio and video will go along with it. All right. So as far as options go, you have a couple of different options. Similar to ScreenFlow, you can record a voice over here. So if you want to re-say something or you just want to add audio to this, uh, you can add audio. iMovie makes this super easy. It will actually play the video with you as you go along. Uh, you can also come up here and crop. So if you don't want all that video, you can actually come through here and crop it like that. And it will make the video smaller for you. And then you can also hit info here and it will bring up this pane. Here, it'll allow you to add video effects, audio effects, change the speed, direction, uh, stabilization. This is helpful if you're on your mobile device and you know you don't have a stand, so it's moving up and down. You can edit some of that out, but you know again, this is getting a little bit more advanced. So that's what the info button does. Then you also notice you have music over here, and you'll have everything that pulls over from iTunes plus all the sound effects and things like that on your Mac. So let's say I wanted to use this one play it sounds good to me if I wanted a music intro I can bring this up here bring it right there and you'll notice now that it goes across if you do want to change the audio of it because this like majorly covers Jay's voice you can double click on it here and pull over audio and actually pull the audio down so you can make it a lot more quiet that's a little bit better not perfect but we're also not going to use this so that's adding video you can also add pictures here it'll pull uh, pictures over from iPhoto um, and all the different places that you have uh, pictures it, it allows you to easily add text you can add text transition or you can just add a standard text um, and you can take and drag that on top of it and it'll put a title slide here so you can say welcome and if you wanted to, you could even take this video or this text and instead of putting it there, you can actually put it at the very beginning. 
So you see that green icon there, put it there. And then it'll ask you for a background and we'll just do we'll just do a white background. And here you can do You can just do a, a simple uh, welcome screen, you know, introduction. And then if you wanted to add a transition, you can do that. So that's how you can easily add text. It will also have, you know, different text effects down here, and you can kind of watch them play as you mouse over it. As far as transitions go, there are some basic ones. And then don't forget, this is a full-on editing program. So it is super, super powerful. It has, you know, fancy transitions. You can see the swap there. You can see the cube. We have a cross zoom, which is actually kind of cool. My favorite really is cross dissolve or fade to black. I also occasionally use cross blur. So if I bring that, you'll see the little green right there and then you hit play and it kind of blurs it in and blurs it out. And I'll pull it here so you can see it a little bit better. Right in the beginning. Put your cursor where you'd like to save it to your computer. It's, it's a very simple transition. It, it gets out of the way for you, so you, you know it's not detracting from your message, but it is an obvious transition. And usually what I do at the very beginning is I'll do a fade to black. Where you'd like the image. Uh, just save. So it, you know, it'll start from black and, and then go back into black just to kind of show, okay, this is where the video is starting. This is where it's stopping. So that's kind of how you add a transition on there. Again, I recommend you keep it simple. You know, you use something like Mosaic or, you know, all these little spin out things. Uh, make sure it doesn't detract from the message. You can get super fancy with this and it'll actually detract from your message and people won't be able to watch it because they're trying to find the video that's flying all over the screen. So, you know, you want to remember to keep it simple. You hear me harp that who knows how many times during this training, but it is super, super important. And you can also add, you can use this little globe right here. You can add, you know, a curtain. You can add, this is where you add your black. So if you want to have a start here, you can add a little bit of black on the beginning and the end. This is really mainly for, you know, setting up intro graphics and things like that, which you can easily create with iMovie. You can even create uh, intros with iMovie, transfer them over to ScreenFlow or uh, Camtasia, things like that, if you want to. Yeah, and you can also create uh, super simple intro and outro graphics on ScreenFlow and Camtasia. Uh, iMovie gives you a few more options just because it is a more powerful editing platform. But that's not something that's absolutely necessary. Really what you need uh, with iMovie is you just need the basics. You want to learn your split here, you know, and then delete this if you see fit. Uh, and you want to remember pulling this over and things like that. And you want to remember how to pull this in here where to place it, things like that. And, and iMovie is really good. It'll show you exactly where and how to do it and all that kind of stuff. So that's iMovie. And the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to approach uh, Windows editing platforms as well. So I'll see you there.